along to episode two of GT Manager. We've done the first two races already. We've built our car factory and we're ready to go for the next couple of races, which is from April and May. We've got the Italian Grand Prix coming up next. And as you can see, if you hadn't seen last time, we had included a new caliper onto our Audi RS3 LMS which is bringing the car up that little bit more on the handling and the tyre durability side. So as you can see, everything else is pretty much awaiting. Now we have got a driver building coming up in one month time and then research coming up in three months. That's pretty much going to be lo looking like it's going to be it for the GT4 series. And you can see marketing is going to be two years away. You're looking at around GT2 and then you've got around the GT3 for 15 months, 18 months kind of range. So not a lot, too much we can do at the moment. Our car, 210 out of 300 on the performance scale. And we are currently first in the championship at the moment. We have got a wet circuit coming up though. So hopefully we're going to score some big points and keep our lead over Lotus and the Mihiki Racing who are fallen quite behind after two. So fingers crossed we can do so. Now just looking at anything else that we can see, you can see the average season position is first so far for us. And yeah, it's it's looking pretty good obviously we've been messing around on some other bits as well so let's take a look and let's get into race number three then so off to italy 10 races all together and it's into the wet so we've had rain before but this time a little bit different with a full wet circuit to come can we get these Audi RS3 LMSs up through the pack? So remember, you don't need to change anything fuel-related for qualifying. It is predetermined. And we do need to change our wet drivers, though. So we want to put wet on there to give us that better chance of a qualifying position. And hopefully, that will see us qualify pretty good because these two are decent in the wet. So we'll let them race around this Imola circuit. And let's see where we do qualify. P10 and P11. So we're about halfway through. About five temps, just under six temps off the pace. So yeah, we've got a Mahiki there. You can see JSP taking pole position in this one. So we've got to, got to move on our way up. I think definitely GT4 is going to be a sort of... It's going to be a learning curve, isn't it? And it's very much a tutorial GT4. And then I imagine GT3, it's all systems go. So... Six to seven laps. I think we're going to do a 50% and a 100 in our stints here because we can't get to 15. So we'll start on half and then we'll start on full. Wet tyres and we're going to take our wet drivers. So let's get into it and see for these couple of races coming up, can we score some good points. On the way out to the track we go. Need to see us moving up in the field somehow. That will come with upgrades and time can't pick up a game and start from the front row as much as we wish so here we go and we're racing let's make sure we push off the start give us that enough pace as we can and we are sitting p9 at the moment we could potentially push off the start not tried that one just yet using a push early let's try but i tell you what already into p4 that's probably a good idea to push and we've got P9 just at the back there as well. So P4 and P11 into P9. Swaps around a lot for breadth there just behind us with this rain. And we've got Florio moving back down to P5 with cars around us pushing. Can we keep hold of that P4? Yes, we can. As we've got the left-hander coming up. Trying to just keep ahead of P5. Which doesn't look like we've got that pace there, but we are, they are pushing, we are conserving. And that's fine down the straight. You don't lose too much, you lose a little bit of cars pushing around us. We're only 1.4 seconds off at the moment. It's going to be the fuel that's going to cost us for an early pit. As into this corner we go, and we're up into P, looks like P6 that we've just got through. And we're going to have a lot of, we should have a lot of fuel for this what's the tires looking like nine to eleven laps of this 15 lap sprint we've got Vinny up to p11 we're going to push him just to get away 
And he is up to P10 now. So this is looking okay start. Down the straight we go again. We'll cut back down. P6 and P9. Expect some pit stops probably in the next lap, couple of laps. But we just got to keep pushing. 33% on fuel. They'll only need one for 100%. And that'll be to the end. And Vinny will only need a 50%. You can see we're in P5. We've got our pushes for overtake remaining, but remember they will gain one when we do pit. So just got to keep pushing, and we're only two seconds off the lead. So you might get a few cars two stop, whereas we are going to one stop. We're on lap three, shortly about to go to lap four. There's Florian, the wet specialist. He's currently in P5. What about Vinny? Where is he now? P9 still. Just going to cruise. Probably get one more lap in, I'd imagine, with Florian to get to lap 5. And then it'll be full fuel. And that fuel fuel is 13 to 14 laps, so all good. And it will be a tyre change as well, but still got 11 laps to go. And that is right on the edge of the wet tyres. As here's a move up into potentially P3. So P3 for Florian. We've got Vinny currently in P8. Can we continue on? I mean, not looking like we're using too much of the fuel. 20% at the moment. We only started with around 50. And we're on lap number 5. So probably got one more lap in us on the fuel. Might just conserve it and look after that fuel. Where is P7? 100% remember got a chance to probably push here as well if we can get close enough but I'm not going to risk it go a little bit wide I've just got to watch that engine it's all about micromanaging the engine fine still 1.9 seconds a gap definitely got one more lap in us here I think just one more lap where's Vinny just trying to bring that engine reliability down on the temperature. And yeah, Florian's got definitely got one more lap. Let's try and push here. Try and get some clear air. Can we get into P number three? Yes, we can. So it's time for a pit stop there. And we're going to go 100% fuel and we're going to go to wet. No driver swap required. And that is happy with me. And then... Don't need to push Vinny, because Vinny is going a lot longer into this race. Got a kind of a minimum 67 laps and a minimum of 9, so he can pit pretty much whenever. And just coming through, absolutely pushing. Let's just look after the engine temp reliability a little bit, but he got up to P2. It's just fuel that's going to cost us, and we do now come in. Vinny, down the straight then here. Now here, my lap. And I'll tell you what, we could probably take P3. We've used the push. Probably wasn't close enough at that section. I feel like we should have gone for him a little bit better there. But not to be. So, we've still got 11 laps. Well, not 11, 8, sorry. So, Florian can go to the end. Not a problem. Vinny can pit whenever we want. He's in P4. So he can pit probably next lap. I only need 50% to take on fuel. He's only just under the halfway as well. And we've got a pit stop as well now. So the uh, leader's in. Probably got another two laps we could do here. Is Florian going to catch up to what was the leader? As he comes around. I uh, don't think he will. They're just coming out of the pits. There he is. Are we going to jump him? He's getting up to speed now. And not quite. So he comes out just behind what was the leader. And he's already pushing as the leader. And there's no point me risking anything here. Seven laps. Let's go wet. 50%. And didn't need to push but I pressed it anyway, pressed the wrong button. And we're coming in. Race for the pits then. And these two, the Lotus was the leader. I 
you can see, just got to watch that engine. But we're already just going to start exiting the box now. There's that one that came in with us. So it's to P6. Few cars still to pit. Car number. Position 2 will pit and the leader. But we're still trying to just squeak one up. Oh, big accident. But we're through. And we should be good to the end. Again, just got to manage the temperatures. 109 degrees at the minute. And Vinny is pushing a lot. So Vinny we've got to manage as well. Bring that down. It's not looking too bad though. We've got pit road now. For a couple of cars. And that will release us. Still P4. Still think there's a few cars to pit though. P4 and P10 at the moment. But old Florian's still got a high engine. That's what we've got to watch with him. Still got two pushes though. And we've got that now just at to the 100 mark, which is good. But following looks like it increases the temperature. Definitely increasing temperatures. And here's a move. P10 and P9 going at each other. Florian back to P4. And there's a car in the pit. So car in the pits. P7. Where can we get to? Can we get the lead of this race? Oh, surely that car has to pit. Otherwise they are well ahead. 3.9 seconds. They've masterminded that one somehow. And again, just can't get past. But there's quite a few cars close up. 6.3 off the lead. And it looks like it has dried out. It has dried out. We literally need a soft pit stop. Is required. Because it has dried. We need to get in. Now what we're going to do here is test if we can double stack or not. This is an interesting test. Are we going to lose a load of time? Or can we double stack cars? No, so you can't double stack cars. That is interesting to note. But already we are coming out in P11. And the track is dry. People who undercut it have got the benefit. And now we're going to push. And we can get back up to P5. So we're going to just initially push because them leaders that are on the wet tyres are on the wrong conditions. So we can absolutely close. And we can use the tyres, but that P5 is coming back at us very quickly. Try and just maintain the old temperatures. But we're into P2. It is P2 and P... What looks like P4 with three laps to go. Soft tyres now. Mediums for one car. So a bit of change in weather conditions. I'll see the weather in the right-hand corner. Not quite telling us exactly when. Kind of judging off the other cars about what happens. But we are in what is P2. 1.6 seconds off the lead. And actually P3 now. We've been overtaken. The car ahead pushing hard. It's going to be pretty tricky to try and catch these. There is P1. And we're just trying to switch between the two. And down the straight we go. Still P3. And P5. Don't think anybody's going to be left to pit now. Let's try and push. We are going to close up, but you have to be right behind. And that pushing really does take the juices out of the car. And obviously what we've got is, we've got wet drivers in, so we could have changed the wet drivers to the dry drivers. If we wanted to. Still got two pushes available. On lap 14. Let's see if we can push closer. Still got one available, that's why we're sending it now. Now 
One push to take P2. Don't think we're going to get a win again. This looks like it's just out of the availability for us. That car ahead is quick. We have pushed right up. We are just getting into P2. We have just got P2. And I think we can get P4 here as well. There is P4. Probably into the last corner. The last lap we are on. Late push. But I don't think we're going to. They're going to hold out. We just couldn't get there. It's only six tenths the gap. And it is going to be a P2 finish and a P5. Just can't get that win. The Celine car coming in first with our Audi in P2 and the Porsche in P3. So Celine took the win. You can see there, did 10 laps on the wet tyres and then went to the dry. That's interesting. Whereas we went kind of early on car one. Car two obviously went a little bit longer. Pitted on lap six, then lap 11. But we take 32 points or even 42 points in the end. 40,000 coming back in, which was good. And then obviously our screen will change, so we'll put that back in, but we've made money. 1.5K. So let's just every time reverse this change, which is good, and then change it just on there. Good stuff. So race three is done. We can now build a driver's building. So first of all, let's check the car factory. We do have steering available. That's going to give us tyres durability. So we will equip that. So that's the car is looking pretty solid now, getting a lot better. And then driver's building. I mean, we only got 657 grand left, but we're still first in the championship. So let's take a look at driver's building. So... What have we got in here? So car one, car two, we've got our drivers on either side. Now we've got engineers that we can equip by the look of it. So we've got Roy Kakona, who will give us an extra free speed and four overtaking on our driver. So these are like boosts to our driver stats then by giving them to an engineer. So we've got one available engineer there. And I'm assuming we can then train drivers as well, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, can we put an engineer? We can't put an engineer on here. So we've only got... I mean, that's going to swap it, isn't it? So let's put him on there. Now, we can train a driver at $500. And I assume this is going to get more expensive the more we go. So we can train that one. Obviously, looking a little bit all over the place now because obviously it's in early access. So experience is one. I think we can train them all then. But I can't train them. I can train them. So experiences. Well, it'll be interesting to see how we get them. But either way, our drivers are getting a little bit better with that engineer. I only got one at the moment, so we will hold with that one. So that is in. So factory, we've got our extra car part on for our next race. We have got our drivers being instilled better. Let's have a look at the championship. 128 points we are on currently and we've got a nice gap now pretty much 35 points ahead which is good we've got Bahrain coming up for race number four we've got Sun Cloud and Sun surely that stays dry I don't think there's anything else we could do at this point we've got research coming in July so that's looking pretty solid so let's give it a go race four and Bahrain. Let's see what the improvements we're going to take though. Because obviously we have got additional upgrades that we've done as we head off to Bahrain for our next race qualifying session. And we don't need our wet drivers. So let's take these two for qualifying. 15 lap race, remember sprint. You do get endurance races which can be double but we are not at that stage just yet. So we're We've probably averaged around 11th and 10th towards the back of the field. And we're back at the back of the field. So everybody else is improving. We have got one of the highest in sort of performance scores. But 1.1 seconds off the lead, that's pretty mad. So it'll be interesting to see what happens on that one. 
So we've got, we can't do a full lap again, so we're going to have to do one and two of these. Probably go more fuel at the start. Probably want to go, I'm going to go mediums with max. Softs, I'm going to go half and then full with Steven. So I think we go that way around. And you're going to have to take one of each. So come on, can we get these Audis into race four? which is the final race of episode two of this GT Manager Early Access series. Time to find out. Can we get a win? We haven't got a win yet. Let's find out. Here we go. And push off the stop. And we're racing in Bahrain. It zooms back out, but we'll zoom massively in. Now let's do this early push and see if we can make a load of cars. I mean, it looks like he pays to push early because that is up to P7. Now, Steven is last. He's on the soft tires. Let's push again because we can get up to P5 here early and we are going to have to cut back down shortly. Now, Steven is back in P15. It's hard to kind of look at all of them at once. That's the only thing that is difficult, but... You can see there Stephen currently sat at the back and he's just in a lot of car traffic so we're going to keep him conserved down for now and we've gained good ground already for Bird as we start lap number two. No rain expected. We're just going to hold down the straight and you can see Stephen still at the back but again just conserving everything. We're going to go for a real solid ride here if we can. Mediums for Bird. Wish I could get a little bit closer. That's the one thing I do wish we could get. Some real close action. Where we are kind of high. But these are all on softs out the front. So our mediums. And we're on 100% fuel as well for Max. Whereas Steven doesn't have that. Can we push at some point? Track temperature 49 degrees. That could wonder if that will play dividend with all the uh, degrading of tyres. As we go down the this straight, a lot of cars all packed together. Definitely looks like you need to push off the start. And there's a move into P14 or was. We've slipped back down to P15 now. Here's a chance, though. We're going to push up the inside. Take that extra speed into the corner. We're going to take three in that one corner push. We could probably still keep pushing. Now we're going to cut back down. So you've got to really just... When there's an opportunity, you've got to take it. Here's another one. We're not going to push though. We're on the outside. We're going to lose time. And we're going to conserve back down. Max is only two seconds off the lead. And then Stephen Lake is currently 5.8. He's on the softs. Surrounded by mediums. That's the only problem. I wanted him to be a bit quicker in this race, but he hasn't. And let's see if he can stay ahead. Back down to P12. On lap 4. Probably got another lap in us. Should lap 6 to 7 laps, but we're just not getting it. And still, we've got a good gap, but I tell you what, Bird has closed the gap. And this is a guy who's on full fuel. So we'll conserve down. He was right behind the soft tyre. There is one in the pit already, so they look like they're going for a two-stopper. Whoa, look at that. Big move. And that is... Still stuck in the pack. We could probably get out of this if we wanted to. Maybe switch to a two-stop. But I don't think the two-stop's going to be beneficial. Definitely can do probably one more lap. 20%. Doing about 10% a lap then. As we're into P3. Bird is flying out there. Definitely that push off the start helped Bird massively get through. And he's got good fuel as well. Good fuel, good tyres. Engine's a little bit hot at 108. 
We'll expect the soft tyres to come in any lap now. And in fact, I think they'll come in already. One carries on. Birds up to P2. Just going to try and regenerate the engine reliability. And bring that back down. And down the straight we go. And look at this. We're going to pit for 100% fuel and mediums. That is what we're going to go for. It's going to try. I'm just going to go for a push. See if we can get past P7. We can, but we lost a place as well. Back up to P7 now. So P7 and P2. That is good going. Fuel is fine. And Max Bird is fine as well in P2. Surely that soft tyre... That soft tyre carries on. Interestingly. Almost matching how many mediums I'm doing. As now Stephen is in the pit then. So let's watch on board with Stephen. Here he goes. In the pits again. No, no animation just yet. But... Fuel is going in. Medium tyres, about 25 second pit stop, longer. 30.9. Wowza. Big stop. We'll see how that plays out though. One lap seven. I feel like we're going to have to go medium again. Medium, medium. Because these mediums aren't lasting massive amount. That soft tyre will bound pit. So we will inherit the lead. We're going to try and look after the reliability. But definitely need some improvements on staff, which we don't really have. Well, we've only just got one, haven't we? And then Lake's coming around the final couple of corners. He's dropped off quite big in this race at the minute. Can go to the end, got full fuel. And them cars are already coming out of the pits. I think we're actually set last somehow. What has happened to him? Hopefully there'll be a few more fuel stops in this race. Definitely got one more lap in us with Bird. Definitely going to go to medium zone. 21 seconds off the lead. A lot of, a lot of cars still to pit. And we should only be able to need to go to 50% fuel here. Engine's all good, so medium tyres, 9 to 11. And 6 to 7 laps, though. Which should be fine, but we know our fuel doesn't run as it does. Or I can go full fuel. 7 to 9. Should be able to go softs, shouldn't I? Let's go. I'm going to go full fuel, because I'm just going to... I'm not comfortable with that fuel set. So we're up to P13. Stephen should be able to go pretty much to the end, I believe. So we'll watch out this one with interest. As Bird is in the pits. We'll see if this is a right choice. I feel like I wanted to go mediums, but it'll be the softs that I go to. And we're going to drop down quite a bit. Big stop. Obviously, you've taken on more fuel as well. That's where you're probably going to lose a lot of seconds. Whereas I probably didn't need to. If I'm not going to push too much, I probably only needed to look after a bit of fuel. But we're going to come out in P number 9. So P9 for Max. Steve is there in P12. Yeah, I'm not too sure how this one's going to work out. But nice to get our first win. We've got a few cars that are still going to be pitting up ahead. We're only 6.9 off the lead on soft tyres. That gap 6.8. But we'll keep an eye on it. We'll definitely just cruise round. Because we know it's about 20 seconds for a pit stop. So we should be well ahead. I'm just going to keep conserving. We've got the best tide. It's probably cut number P4 that we're going to struggle to get past. Got P6 ahead of us. Well, we are P6, P5 ahead of us. But we've closed up nicely. 55 degree track temperature. It is boiling. 
And we've got a little bit of overheating by Stephen Lake's car. 110 degrees. We've got Max is on fire. On perfect. Where Stevens is on fire. 5.9 off the lead with a few pit stops to come. Just lost down to P6 though. While well, we focus on this one. And there is the battle. Just taking back P5. But they will surely pit again. There is some more pit stops now. Which is good. Up to P3. Now Steve Lake should be able to come up here as well. Looking like he's going to move into P6. And we're managing this right. Just watching out that tyre temperature and the engine temperature. The reliability. Just trying to keep that intact. Now P3 is behind... Yeah, we 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 three laps to go, four including this one. I don't think them softs are going to get to the end, and I think we might be very comfortable here. He says that we might still lose. Mediums will go to the end, hopefully. Three laps to go when we cross the line. There's a few more pit stops to come in as well. Carrying well enough fuel in P3. We're right behind P2. And reliability has recovered nicely, up to 94. So you can see how low that 89%. So if you want to start pushing more, you really need to get that down to give you a lot bigger push. You've got to watch them tyre temperatures, though. Whereas Max Bird, there he is. And that soft tyre of car one has got to be running out towards the end of this got to be we surely will take victory one time and I feel like it could be this race we're going to push Max out of this corner goes a little bit deep we're going to conserve it down 6.2 that's going to be a big last two laps for that car in front we're going to try and slipstream all the way we've got tyres we've got fuel to absolutely go for it and here we go we've got two pushes available I mean Stephen Lake can't really get any higher than what he can he's got big fuel remaining and we're going to try and close now here's a chance we've seen the gap open up we've pushed he's gone to the outside and he's top P2 we are in to P2 now the leader the problem is I don't think when they lose that run out of tyres I don't think they slow down that much. And he's carried on the leader. I think in this early access, tyre running out doesn't really affect him too much. Because five seconds, they've just coming up to the turn one and they're about out of tyres. And we are starting the final lap. So you would expect us to absolutely now close the gap. As we're going to try and take back P6. But our engine is a boiling. Yeah, 4.4 out of tyres. It's not really affecting too much. 4.1 4 now. You can you, you can run out of tyres at the moment. It just doesn't slow you down. 3.5. Yeah, that's a shame because we could have really caught them. We're going to push out of the final corner. But it's going to be it's going to be outside the top six. But it's going to be P2 for Max. Everyone improving. We're trying to improve. But today, P2. Again, we're consistent at P2. A P2 and a P6. We'll take it. We'll, we'll take that. Not a problem. Team Lotus, it was taking victory. Look at that. They picked it on lap seven. We pitted later on lap 9. They did soft softs. Look how long them softs are going. We are supposed to be the strongest car in the field. We do take good points. 40. Which is what we needed. 39.4 making small money. Which is good race income. Lost out though. Because obviously we've had increased parts, factory, etc. So we are starting to lose some money now. Which is interesting. So another two races down and complete. Standings looking pretty good. We're off to USA next. 168. We've got a 39 point gap to Team Lotus. So we need to 
watch out for them after they took up victory in that one. But we're going to try. And we've, we've scored pretty well all across the board, really. Um, they had their big win in, in Feb and then kind of struggled and picked back up in May. So, yeah, we're going to have to keep trying to gain it. I'm sure we've got some potential improvements. We've got a research garage factory coming in in a month's time as well. So that's not too far off now. And if we go to the factory, there is nothing we can really do at the moment. So everything is equipped. Yeah, nothing to really change on the Audi at that point. And then if we look at drivers, we do have a basically an engineer that we can train for another 500. That's going to set the monthly cost up. And we only have one at the moment. So there you go. We've got... 4 speed, 5 overtaking from that engineer, but that is all we pretty much have at the moment. But join us next time as we go for the next two races, June and July, or July and August, whichever it is, June and July, as we get racing and try to unlock our next big improvement, which is our research garage.